Okay, wait seconds, guys. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Are you ready? <laughs> That was, of course, Liam Pei and Jay Bolvin with Familiar, still doing incredibly well in the charts over here and worldwide. He seems to be, be, be doing pretty well as a solo artist. Uh, it's good to see that he's finding his feet. I cannot speak, I'm so sorry. Don't, do not worry at all. <laughs> I've been reading some interviews with him recently and he was talking about his time in One Direction and how tough it was on him. So it's good to see him being himself again and working at his own pace. Speaking of working at our own paces, our producer has another game for us. Oh no. Agreed. Uh, but this one looks like it could be quite fun. It's called Just a Minute. Check out that bed music. <laughs> oh yeah, this, right. is, this is feeling groovy already. <laughs> right, what's going to happen is we're going to give the other person a random topic. And it can be anything from a movie to a specific food or what, whatever we feel like hearing you draw on about basically. Mm -hmm. Now the person will have a minute in which they have to talk non-stop about it with Danielle timing us. And at the end, she's going to choose a winner. We're each going to take two turns. So you, then me, you, then me. We're like the chuckle punch. Yeah, that's what I say. To me, to you, to me, to you. Um, do you and, know, and it has to be non-stop. That's the important part. It has to be non-stop. Okay, I don't know if I can talk non-stop about anything you'll give me. I'm really concerned. That's the fun part, obviously. Uh, my first topic for you is feminism. Right, okay. Ready. Ready, go. So feminism is a movement all across the globe where we're trying to basically get equality for all people of all like you know genders, races, um, sexes, anything like that. And it's it's the belief that you know no one person should be like for example paid less just because they're different from anyone else. Um, it's trying to find uh, one strong thing is trying to get an equal share of women across in in like high up positions because it's you not know, there's a high population in the world of women than there are of men, but there is a significantly higher percentage of men in. Um, in the higher paying positions. Um, it's ensuring that like, all across the world there is equal pay for all men and women. Um, it's ensuring that, you know, in day-to-day -day life there's just none of this, you know, um, you know, kind of a force, like people shouldn't feel unsafe in their own society. People should feel like they're able to just walk around and be themselves without being, you know, stared at, uh, being in fear of someone coming up to them and making passing comments and you know, just being able to live a life as a human being like they want to, and that it's as simple as that. Like feminism is basically just like human beings. Is that it? <laughs> that yeah. was pretty good. So, Alex. Oh, okay. Well done, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. <laughs> well, what did you think I was going to say? I thought you were just going to go. Uh, 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 uh. I'm a modern twenty-first century man. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> Um, right, so my first topic for you, Julie. Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to start with the second one I've got written down, not the first one. I'm going to uh, save that for last. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, it's quite a simple one to start with. Uh, contactless payment. Okay. Ready? Go. Contactless payment. I first got it about six years ago. I think it was one of the first few people in the UK to get it. And uh, basically, you use, a, I think it's a near field communication mm. uh, to tap your card on the device and it'll debit your card. The, the money. Um, I know some people can get it because they've got a really bad credit score. Um, that's a thing. Um, but personally, I've always had it, so I don't know if I'm just lucky or not. Uh, contactless payment. There was a lot of concern about it. Um, I know there was a lot of scams that people used to kind of walk past you on the street and kind of move a little device along your handbag and then try and steal all your money. Um, but there's a £20 limit set on that, and that turned into a £30 limit few months back, maybe, maybe six months ago. And uh, yeah, it seems to be doing pretty well. I like it, personally. Um, as for the fears of people swiping across your bag and whatnot, you can get these special phone cases, or like wallets and okay. stuff like that. There you go, <laughs> that well was great, done, wasn't Julie. it? No, if there's, one, there's one glaring thing I need to ask you about there. You said people with bad credit scores don't get them. How have you got one? I'm kidding. <laughs> I am very financially responsible. That's a lie. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm really not. Yeah. I know that's a complete lie. Right. So I'm a champagne I... life. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe it's time for your second one for me. And now I'm very concerned. I'm literally coming up with this on the spot. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to talk about chalk. Chalk. Yep. Okay. So Go. chalk. Um, it's a substance. Um, that is mined 
and it can be used in multiple different purposes. The main purpose that we seem to have in this 21st century for chalk, in fact, it was more so back in like before technology, before whiteboards and marker pens, back in like the Victorian eras and stuff like that, you'd have uh, big blackboards, chalkboards type thing where you'd write on it and the teachers would give you lessons. Uh, some of the lessons you'd find with chalk were mathematics. Uh, you could also do chalk for English. Uh, you could use chalk for the science classes. Um, chalk would often be used by students as well on their little, little mini blackboards if they write answers down. And um, you know, along with the chalk, it's very important, very important to have a, a wiper, to be able to clean the chalk off as well. Um, one thing actually with chalk that's come quite popular in Glasgow city centre is you see a lot of homeless people writing now like messages and stuff on the street in chalk and that's trying that's a new way of them trying to you know tell their story about how they're in the position that they're in um, and I mean maybe they shouldn't spend some money on chalk I don't know uh, I do you know I have no idea time, <laughs> time. <laughs> That was incredible, Alex. Thank you, that was a bit more difficult. You talk so much rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's great. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I caused offence to that last comment, I didn't mean to, it just like, I couldn't think of anything. It's just like, spend money on food or not chalk, I don't know. Um, Alex, so Alex. I'm very sorry. I know I apologise, that was a mishap on my part. Now, my final oh, one for you, oh Julie. My, oh, I'm not ready. You, you better be ready. I need you to talk to me for a minute about the British Touring Car Championship. The British Touring Car Championship is something Go. I've de <laughs> definitely heard of before. Um, they tour around Britain in, in their cars uh, and, and they race sometimes. I assume that they personalise the cars with like lots of pretty colours like red and blue and maybe some pink to make the boys link. Um, Maybe maybe some like racing stripes or like flames like coming from the wheels. No, 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 that. Um, and the drivers obviously they need to work really hard. They need to stay fit and uh, work out because it's very intense racing cars. Like driving cars is very stressful, especially in one way roads in Glasgow. <laughs> oh. um, so in these races, someone obviously comes first, uh, and they get like a gold little cup or a medal. And someone comes second, they get like a little silver medal, and, and third, and they get a little, a little bronze medal. <laughs> and and of course, there's like champagne. There's always champagne. You're the one man. There we go. <laughs> I mean, a lot of what you said wasn't incorrect, so I can't. You did all right. Um, there isn't like you know gold, silver, and bronze. They just get like slightly smaller trophies for season second and third. <laughs> Uh, and no one has flames on their wheel arches or anything like that. But otherwise, it was, it was. It's, it's, it's not. Do you know what? You did all right. You did all right. Um, so I think that is absolutely uh, better than I expected you to do. So um, that was actually pretty fun. But we need to know now. We need to know, Julie. Yes, Danielle. Who won, Danielle? I'm going to give it to Alex this time. Oh, yes! <laughs> you don't think my whole minute saying nothing about two cars. <laughs> Do you don't think my whole minute not saying anything about chalk? <laughs> that was actually quite a fun game. That was quite fun. Not like, if you want to get involved in this game, get in contact with us. <laughs> yeah, see it to the camera. The video you just saw there, that was Alex and Julie playing a game called In Just a Minute. And Alex won. Oh my goodness, I think Julie actually did better. But Danny was producer of a great agent show and she got to pick.